Uh, let's go straight to Martin Place in Sydney where our Carson Scott from Sky News Business is outside the RBA with Fig Securities' Mark Bailey. Carson, how are you reading the decision today? It's going to be interesting, isn't it? Some of the themes, Helen and Mark Bailey, welcome into the show. Uh, we were just talking, it's banks uh, reporting, uh, focus even today with ANZ, looking at the numbers and, you know, in the real economy. So from a Reserve Bank ivory tower, if you want to paraphrase, to how the banks are moving independent, you kind of get a sense that that will be a feature even, that they'll call out uh, what banks are opting to do increasingly, which is swim against the tide. Never mind lunch for the Reserve today. It's a case that profitability is being shored up by upping those rates in the real market. Yeah, I don't think the, the RBA will call out that per se. You know, they'll, they're, they're fully cognizant of what the banks are doing and the out of cycle uh, hikes that they're, they're putting through. Mm. Um, equally, the RBA is very cognizant in terms of what, the, you know, the, the real economy is having to pay for its capital. Uh, and, and that plays into, you know, what the banks are doing separately. So as, you, as we talked about before, you know, the, the, there was still NIM compression in uh, net interest margin compression at the ANZ down to 2% from 2.0. everyone's going through that, let's face it. Correct, absolutely. And, that, and that's why you're seeing these out of cycle hikes. But you're a bond man. I mean, talk to the recalibration of bond markets, the kind of, uh, the, 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 the less of the fear and loathing, more of a reining in of frenzy. And therefore, have these funding costs actually shot out and, and, and ballooned out quite as the banks have portrayed them? Oh, I, I don't think so, and you know, but it, again, it's the marginal cost that they're having to put on. Yes, it's probably increased from what it was, you know, six months ago, and that's largely due to what you've seen in terms of base rates, the underlying, fun, uh, you know, the treasury rates or the swap rates have increased as you've seen the impact from the uh, from the Fed and what's happening over in the states. Speaking of various other bodies, APRA here. Uh, excuse me, the, you know, the idea that Wayne Byers has been quite public in the last few weeks and talked about not having a role on house prices so much as prudential lending. He was clear to make that distinction. They don't govern the market in that regard. Is that going to be a sufficient theme for the Reserve Bank to key off and say, look, we can maybe even be accommodative from here because APRA are on watch and they're acting and they have acted uh, subsequent to our instructions? Look, my, my, my view is that down the line, maybe in November, we do get another 25 basis point cut. Uh, I think in terms of the, the house price situation, the RBA will still watch that. And I think they'll be kind of sit, let's sit, sit and wait and see what happens in that regard. You did see a bit of softness coming through in apartment prices. But uh, clearance rates are running very nice. Absolutely, still at 80% in, 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 uh, in Sydney. And so you're still seeing strength there. So I don't think you're going to see a huge uh, come down in, in uh, house prices. So I think the RBA will still have to have a watching brief on that topic. This will be the last decision before a budget so is there an opportunity today to call out for fiscal heavy lifting uh, never mind uh, you know the monetary policy overlay that's been so accommodated to date Ag again I, I don't think the RBA will make specific reference to the budget I think but it will still be a wait and see and and given you know what we've seen from Scott Morrison in the last few days where he seems to be priming everybody for additional fiscal spend and additional debt and the difference between good debt and bad debt another inquiry on GST I mean when do these things stop getting into inquiry mode actually get in some policy and some law reform. Yeah, don't get me started on Australian politics. I think it's uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous subject, but I, I'd, I'd like to see more action and less talk, and we do continually seem to talk, but it's difficult when you've got that situation in the upper house as well, where it's very difficult to get legislation through. Mark, thank you as always, appreciate Thanks, it. Carson. Mark Bailey from FIG. We are in Countdown Mode. Brian Parker from Sun Super, Chief Economist.